Piriformis syndrome is characterized by irritation of the sciatic nerve after the nerve has left the pelvis. The piriformis muscle itself is an external rotator of the hip and is located deep in the buttock region. Because of its location to the sciatic nerve, any tightening or spasm of the piriformis muscle can irritate the sciatic nerve. After the nerve exits the pelvis, the sciatic nerve travels either over, under, or sometimes pierces through the piriformis muscle itself. Any spasm in this area can cause pain in the buttock region and extend down the back of the thigh. Pain is usually worse as the patient climbs stairs or if it's been sitting for a prolonged period of time, especially on a wallet. Treatment for piriformis syndrome starts with physical therapy. We're gonna look for any biomechanical abnormalities that may increase the stress on the piriformis muscle. We're gonna stretch the piriformis muscle in the external rotators of the hip. We're gonna work on hip stabilizer strengthening, including the hip abductors. Look for any sacroiliac joint dysfunction and treat any low back pain. In addition, if pain persists, we can talk about anti-inflammatory medications, orally or topically, and injection therapy. Injection therapy could involve trigger point injections into the piriformis muscle, steroid injections, or sciatic nerve blocks. In refractory cases, Botox injections into the piriformis muscle have shown successful treatment. In addition, surgery is always an option, but very, very rarely needed and a last resort. Because the symptoms of piriformis syndrome involve burning, numbness, and tingling traveling down the back of the leg, it is important to consider other diagnoses. Lumbar radiculopathy, or a nerve being pinched as it exits the spinal canal, can cause very similar symptoms, and it is important to get an accurate diagnosis so that appropriate treatment can be rendered.